During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about warm season versus cool season grasses. Well, this is really interesting. We get a lot of questions about lawns and it's a good place to start because people will say, well, my lawn was looking really good, but then we got into the hot part of the summer and it looks completely different. And there's different species of grass that seem to be popping up. One of those being crabgrass that all of a sudden, man, I didn't have crabgrass. Now I got a lot of it and it's really a problem. How come my bluegrass was doing so good early and now the crabgrass is taking over later? Well, it's typically because of heat. With cool season grasses like Kentucky bluegrass that we usually have in our lawns here, that loves cool weather. Now normally for South Dakota, that's a great thing. But when you get a year like this year where we've had all kinds of 90 degree, even 100 degree temperatures that we don't normally get, well guess what? The Kentucky bluegrass doesn't do well, but the warm season grasses like crabgrass, which we often call a weed in our lawn, crabgrass does quite well. So yes, there is a definite difference between these cool season and the warm season grasses and it basically just comes down to what type of weather do they prefer. Well let's move out to a cornfield and look at, at some problems that we have. So when we, we think about weed control in corn, oftentimes farmers are putting on a soil applied residual herbicide that is going to kill weeds as they germinate and as they start to sprout and that's fantastic. We can keep our cornfields pretty clean from the cool season grasses that start early like many of the foxtails for example but then we get into something like field sand burr. It's a warm season grass. It pops up later and a lot of times those soil residual herbicides have run out of gas by the time the sand burr starts coming and all of a sudden farmers had a clean field but now it's full of weeds. But the thing that we try to do as farmers out in the field is have our crop growing so well that it canopies or basically covers, shades the ground, however you want to look at that. And because of the shade, then a lot of these later season weeds can't get started. So where we see a lot of the warm season grasses popping up in our crops is where we've had hail, where we've had a little drown out area, where maybe there was some animal damage or insect damage or something like that to thin the can canopy, which allows sunlight to get down, and then those warm season grasses get started. Well, it's just interesting as you look at nature and see things that thrive at one time of the year versus another, and some of the explanation may be, well, we've got a summer annual or a warm season grass, we've got a cool season grass. They're just popping up at different times depending on the weather. Well, our weed of the week is not a grass, and it's really not necessarily warm season or cool season. It seems to grow just about any time. We're going to talk about how to control it coming up later in the show.